on the PWD architecture. Okay. So I had a particular practical session how we providing as a PWD or any PWD guys how we providing. Okay. So now tell me Harish, what are the difference between the PWD and DI? BI and DW is basically a warehouse. DW is used for the warehouse, business warehouse, and it's for the business intelligence. Okay. So BI is basically business intelligence for you know, for reporting, for you know, designing, for gather the flow charts, and uh, you know, for graphical depiction. So this is our, our under the BI itself. Okay. And business warehouse basically capture the warehouse information about the businesses data. So where all the data is stored for the businesses. This is under the business okay. As a security, as a security consultant, what are the difference between the ECC and BW side? Uh, the user as a security, in security respective, we, we can uh, restrict the user to unauthorized access in BI. Like for an example, like uh, if I'm talking about the BW respective not be authorized to stay our BWS contain so many data so we can restrict it down to access all the data so as per the as per the process we can restrict it okay anything else and uh, in uh, there are uh, we can use for the uh, so I think info type is not there right info type info type is, is not a, it is a, a HR security it is called as a human info object. Info object, yes. Info. Okay. So it's not a concept. Yeah, BI is not a concept of info object, right? Yeah, it's a concept of info object. So that is only so. Okay, that is about difficulty. So uh, suppose the last class you're discussing HR security. What is the difference between the ECC and uh, you can say HR security? What is the difference between in the HR security, maintain the personal numbers and uh, you know all the information should be installed, uh, must be installed into the uh, HR and the ECC security concern, the general, all the financials and the, you know uh, procurement and uh, sales distribution, all the information uh, stored into the ECC and we can, as a security respective, we can restrict as per the processes and we can segregate the duties and systems as for the defined processes for ECC. And the, in the same for the HR respective, we can restrict it, but there are no such open issues as much for uh, HR respective, but we can restrict it. That unauthorized person, not illegal activities performed, like suppose for an example, the one employee, uh, suppose XYZ person not be authorized to work, you know, uh, access the unnecessary data to another employee or not able to see any other information to other employees. So we can restrict it. Through them or display rights, we can we can restrict it as per the processes. So in HR respective, only for the HR and the ECC contains all the all the modules information, and we can restrict it as per the segregation of duties like finance, SCM, procurement. These are under the part of ECC. And uh, that is much abbreviation. It's a simple language. Yeah? HR is very easy. is the role based security, and HR is the so HR is the position based. Position based. Yes. Don't simple relationships. Don't tell this not elaborate. So let's see when so anybody asks in interview point of view, what is the difference between the ECC security, BW security and BI security? And ECC BW the security is through transaction code basic. So you can providing as a pure layer transaction code based. Okay? So you can write open the notepad, you can write in also. So ECC is purely based on the system at BW system is purely you are providing the security to okay transaction go next nice. and BI is purely based on the no no BA, BA security is purely on BW is different BI is different I will tell you about the difference also there no, no, ECC and BW both both the systems is based on the transaction code transaction was done BW also yes BW also okay and BI okay BA Shari, Shari, BA, 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 yeah. Yeah, BA is the so you can providing as a security with the end user base, query based. You want to providing as a security through query based. Okay, you can provide a security through query based. Sir, what is meaning of query? 
okay query advertise meaning of query the query is nothing but rearranging the data okay what is meaning of query we based is nothing but rearranging the data in the format of rows and columns rows and columns suppose anybody asking the difference between these so can elaborate like this Okay, so ECC, so ECC and BW both are transaction code based, HR is purely based, position based security, and BA is purely query based. Sir, who are expert the queries? Means in BA security maximum, so that can be used by the end users. Okay, so end users can be required to give the end user access with the HR security. BA can be end users cannot be. So as a security consultant, what we do? We can provide the security by query based. Uh, end user BA security can provide a BA security. Other BA security, what is the purpose of BA security? End user cannot be execute the, cannot be access the, even cannot be execute or access the, okay, reports and queries. Reports and queries. Okay. It's a normal definition. Anybody says purely the ECC and BW. Sir, you can say BW and BA is both are similar. Na? Yeah, when you're introducing as a, a BW software, actually the BW software is called as a BAW. Okay, the BAW is first version is right down. BAW version, BIW. The same is first version is the okay, BAW is a business information warehousing. The first version is 1.0. First version is 1.0. After that, 1.2A, 1.2B, 2.0A, 2.0B, 2.1C. Is all versions is called as a business intelligent warehousing. After that, so those are introducing the 3.0A of the next version. 3.0A, 3.0B, 3.01, 3.1C, okay, 3.3 and 3.5. So till this is called as a BW versions. Till this is called as a BW versions. This is a business. This is the BA, BW version. Business yeah. okay. After that, those are introducing as a BW. After those are official, after SAP companies adapted by the BW, uh, BAW, and the naming will be changing to the at 2004 onwards, the naming will be changing in the format of BI, even is called the BA7.x. Directly, those are storage into the BI, okay. BA7.x. Now, anybody asking as a company comes to the asking. What the version working at? BA 7.x. Like BA 7.0, 7 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0, 7.0
and standard authorizations. Okay, now you want to go for, sir, how you can do the protocol is nothing but first one. So how to create as a uh, analysis that one. Um, yeah, second, that is the second point. How to do the purely analysis, like uh, purely analysis is nothing but. How to providing a BAS certificate? Just putting how to provide a BAS certificate and not thing like that. Okay, how to provide a case purely BAS certificate. Come into here, go for a transition code BFCC. Go for a transition code BFCC. Okay, create the row. Okay, create the row. In role, what we do? You assign the transition, but you don't assign any transition code directly. Right? It's a normal method. See, the PA security don't provide this. Okay, remove that. Remove that. Add the transition directly. You want to go for role. After that, you want to add the directly. Yes, yes. Hey, directly add. Add the add the analysis authorization. Analysis authorizations. So there is no specific key code for this thing? There is no transition code directly can giving us direct access. Okay. Directly you want to go for how you can provide is nothing but you can using as a how to create the uh, this direct analysis you can using as a RSEC sorry RSEC uh RC cut maybe the transition code RC cut. How to create the no, 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 don't write a gas. Next one, how to create the BW security. First quality is then what other difference is there? First of all, you are providing analysis and second okay. how to create the BW security. It's normal method. How to provide BW security? So how to provide it? Go for transition code PMCC. And add directly. Uh, yeah, go for yeah. transition PLC, add the transition code. Come on, add the transition code. In transition code, you want restricting the authorization object. Okay, transition code after that. Go for authorization, restrict the authorization objects. And assign to the particular user. So this is the first difference. When you go for practical system, this is the first reason. Means it's purely how you're providing the beta B and CPS is the but Analysis authorization. Second thing is the thing that is providing a standard authorization object. Okay, standard authorization object and standard authorization. What is that? Now coming to BW security is a normal method. Okay, it's a normal method. So it's a normal method. Coming to here is very customizing everything. And second method is or second difference is so second difference is here. So maintain the Maintain the unlimited second difference BW BS unlimited authorization objects. Maintain the unlimited authorization fields. Unlimited authorization fields for BA security. Security. So now coming to BW security, even ECC security, uh, one authorization object maximum, how many fields you can assign? In? How many years you can use? Arish, one authorization yes, object, how many fields you can assign? In? So you can assign is only on 10 fields. Okay, that, that next one. So 10 fields, you can authorization fields, you can add. You can add for one of object PW security. Okay. And next one here, so BW is a BA is purely on NPR based. BW is purely on BW. So, yeah, BA, BA. So, 
A is a purely a nuclear base. Think as a version of B A seven point X. Purely a nuclear base, not sequel base. Nuclear, nuclear, nuclear based. Which one? Purely a sequel base. Sorry, a bab based. Nuclear, nuclear based. So nuclear base, BW is the above base means. What is the best difference between the above base and the nuclear base is nothing. But you want to practice in two transitional code is called the above base system. Okay. And uh, suppose you want to access to URL base, this is called as a nuclear base. Okay, do that. Purely on BI is purely on nuclear base. How? SQL now. Net viewer, net viewer, not SQL, net viewer base. Net viewer. Basis, no, 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 not net viewer. WBA, WBA, WBA. The question is net viewer only. SAP basis, yes, yes. What is the name? What is the name? What is the name? Okay. So that is the next one. So we had two different, three differences. And next difference is so here in BW can maintain the creating the customizing operation. BW you can create the maintain the customization authorization object. Customizing authorization object means you can creating his own. Okay, what a transition code to creating as a authorization object and a BW, what a transition code? IRS system. That is a SG20 that is different. Now here you have a BW system. R S system. Okay. M M M for address. Okay, in BA system, you can create the analysis, create the authorization. And BA system is maintain the analysis authorization object. Analysis, analysis authorization. What the transition could to creating this? The transition code R second bin. Okay, and next one when, when you come into it, all customizing authorization objects will be storing as a what is meaning of object? Sorry, what is meaning of class? What is meaning of class? Class is basically a uh, name like activity. Uh, Stuff See, yeah. Now here you can say what the property you're writing. So where you uh, BW maintain the all customization authorization object. Okay, the all customizing authorization object we're storing as a class is RSR. Right on the class, the class name is RSR. RSR capital putting as a capital is better because you can put it as a capital. RSR. Okay, so all. Okay, all customizing authorization objects will be storing as a year only. And second one, okay, uh, next one is BW, uh, it's a BW, no? PA. Okay, in PA, so all, all analysis authorization objects will be storing as in the class is called as a RS. Two classes will be there, one is for all analysis authorization, authorization, analysis authorization, okay, RS, class is RS class, above one is the BW, second one is the, okay. so these are the major differences available into the SAP, BW and BASA. These are the so if you ask anybody so what is the difference you can say these are the five or four difference between the SAP BW2 and BA.
So BWS fuel layer you want to storing as an online analytic so online transactional data. BA is the whole layer. This technical versus as a OLTP and OLAP. So BWS fuel layer, OLTP online transactional data. OLTP is fuel based on the so. Sir, how the data is stored? Is a OLAP. OLAP. Sorry, sorry, OLTP. Online transactional data. Okay, whole analysis data will be storing in the format of BAS QLR OLAP. Online transaction, online analytic processing data. Okay, it's QLR. Now, see how the data will be. So how the data will be storing into the ever instance system to BW or BI. You can use it as a one concept. The concept is called as a here ETL. What is meaning of ETL? ETL extra transform loader. Yes. Again. So how the data will be storing in the format of we can use it as a ETL tool based. So what is the meaning of ETL? Extraction. ETL extraction. Transformation and loading. So what is meaning of extraction? What is meaning of extraction? To pull out the, to, to pull out the record from the another system and put it into the same for the uh, for the creation of the. Uh, you know, for, I don't. What is meaning of extraction? Records. Extraction is nothing but load the, the records. Yeah. Load the data from the. Load the, the data from the SAP system or non-SAP system. SAP system is nothing but like ECC system, CRM system, and SRM system. Now, non SAP system, we actually see that anything. Okay. Now we can use find him. Now loading is there. Now data is loading okay from uh, SAP, like ECC system to BWRPA is okay. Then after that, how do you understand the BWU? When you're loading, this loading is in a like, normal language, it's the BWU system is not understanding. At that time, what we do? So we can use it as a transportation method. What is meaning of transform? Is there an extraction is for loading the data from SAP, B, the BW, sorry, SAP, AC system to SAP, BA system. Once this loading is done, after that, what was it doing? So, cannot understanding. The data is not understanding. The SAP, BA system is not understanding the data. Understand the, you cannot understand the terminology or you cannot understand the system. So, at that time, what we do? Using as a so transportation method. So, what is transportation is nothing but, so you can, if we using the transformation method, you can translate the data in the format of data rules. You can apply a transformation rule. This is a translate. In normal language, English language is a trans translation. So again, translate the data, translate the data in the format of BA terminology. In the format of BA terminology. Now loading is done and transformation done. Then what we do? Okay, learning that in the BA system terminology. Okay, and after that, loader. So loading, loading is normal. It's a loading. Loading, loading is very successful. Now overall data into the SSAP BWP system. So by using the data, so I want to prepare that. So how to prepare the data? Okay, so loading is nothing but right loading the values into the particular field. So loading the values into the particular fields. Okay. The particular fields. Okay, this is the meaning of ETL. What is meaning of E means extraction. What is meaning of extraction? Load the data from the SAP system to non-SAP system. After once is uploading into the BI, BI system, what we do? Once extraction, then what we do? Okay. So uh, SAP EC system is when a BA system is cannot be understood in terminology of the SAP EC system, then it is using a transport method and you can produce a transport any transport. For example, write down example also. For example, I want uploading as a one table. Example, write down. Example, I, for example, I want to uh, I want example, I want to upload the employee table from EC system to BA system. Employee table. Okay, employee table. Now come into here. What are the employee table is this to BWS system? Once loading is done, extraction is done, then 
the table consists of some fields are the fields limited right on the fields also so now here when you go for as a employee id is there so for fields apply table apply employee id okay employee id okay employee name right this for the field employee name okay employee salary apply location now where the location where the located no space ma'am as no i'm asking where is the table where is the table i want uploading it is it a ba system okay ba system no ba system is not understanding the what is meaning of employee id and employee value and by using as a transportation sys method you can then, then we can employee. use the transportation method to translate data uh, in the format of bi terminology yeah, yeah. how so the ba system can understand the yeah. data yeah how the employee is transporting you so it like putting as a employee id is converting to the employee number same please when you come to ba system but in on employee id is converted to the employee name okay employee name sorry sorry employee number okay employee name is going to the employee name is converted to the these are the fields employee name is converted to the Okay, any user ID, employee user ID, something. I'm not into that. Employee user ID. User, okay, user name, user ID. Okay, fine. Next one, EMP salary, can we can we convert to the paid? Okay. So same long way, same data, but is translating. When you do, when you doing, when you go for EMP table, the same table is converting. We have this system that are by using EMP method, you can converting like this. Okay. Now is okay. So suppose the table contains some data. For example, again employee ID. Write this some employee ID, employee name, and employee salary. No, no, believe, believe, believe. Employee ID is there. Now write down some table. Is there some values in table? Employee ID one, employee ID two, employee ID. So no, no. Employee ID is there. Now you can just enter the details. Employee one, employee two, employee ID. Enter the employee ID. Suppose employee ID is one. ID one, okay, employee name, so it's employee name, okay, employee salary, ten thousand, okay, but enter one more details, same, okay, second one, second employee, employee ID two, okay, employee name, so it's employee name. Okay, employee salary. Okay, so fine. Okay, now what happened? So employee ID is common. Okay, ID is and the fields will be common. But what happened? The values will be changes. At that time, what happened? Loading. What is meaning of loading? Upload the data value into the this particular fields. You are increasing and decreasing, but the values is constant. So that you are passing with that click. The fields are stay. The far the fields are particular fields. You want inserting data into the particular field. Here fields are not changed. Values only will be changed. Okay, that is called as a loading. That is a loading. That is the meaning of loading. Upload the data. Okay, data or values into the particular values into the particular field. Okay. So means how the data will be extracted by using as BI system, using as a ETL data extraction. And next one you want to go for discussing as a SAP BW architecture. So last class you discussing a HR architecture. What are the common points will be there? In the HR system, what are the common? What are the what are the architecture hierarchy they are using? In HR system, what are the hierarchy? Yeah. PS. What is the word? Organization. 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 Position. And last one is the position. After that, you can go for assign the particular user ID. Now see here, when you come into BW, you have totally six will be there. One is for core system. So BW, what is the core system? First of all, even is called as a building blocks of SAP, BSAP, or BWC. 
first of all source system okay one is the source system one is the data source third one is info area okay first one is the source system second one is the data source right what are the other one go that first one sap dws what are the points what are the hierarchy okay first one is called as source system Total six is available. It is the source system. Okay. Second one is the data source. What are these terminology? They are already understanding security point. Okay. Data source. And next one is the info area. And next one is the info object catalog. Next one. Info object, and next one is the info provider. Okay, first one source system. What is meaning of source system? Already you asked this. So, what is meaning of source system? Okay, source system is nothing but source system is nothing but PA system is connected to the SAP system or non-SAP system. Like you have to take the data from PA guys. So what is system? Either SAP system or non-SAP system. Okay, PA connected to SAP system or non-SAP system. Once this connecting, after that what we do? We want to upload it. So here we are using the data source. What is the meaning of data source? What are the data is available in SAP PA system? What are the data? Not database. What are the data? Whatever the data is available in the SAP PA system is called as a data source. Whatever data is available in the PA system is called as a data source. Okay. So now, first of all, I want uploading the data from source. What is source here? Is this system to the PA system? Once PA system is uploading, I want to prepare it. What is the data is there? The data is called as a data source. After that, I want to store, I want to save the data in the format some folder. Okay, it's called as a info area. Okay, I don't know so. folder folder not folder. Saving the PA data in the folder. Saving the BA data in folder. Saving the PA data in the folder is called as the info area. Okay, that info object is nothing but subfolder of okay subfolder of info area. For example, I have movie folder. Okay, I have movie folder. What is the in movie folder is the info area. What is subfolder will be high? So English movies, Hindi movies, Hindi Canada movies. Okay, coming. Okay. Those are called as a info folder. Movies there is a this movie folder under movie folder. What are the folders will be there? Like okay, here who is the info area here? Movie folder is a info area. Info object catalog is nothing but English and Hindi. Actually, where the information is stored is called as subfolders. It's called as a info object catalog. Next one, info object. Where is fifth one? In next one is info object, not info object provider. One more is always there. Info object, info object. This is the most important. In normal actually, you don't write. In normally, in our uh, AWS service, this security is called as operation object. When you come into BA security, is called as a info object. Okay. When coming to technical definition, what is the meaning of info object? Is nothing but okay. So each field into the particular table. Each field, each field, with particular table is called as a info object. And organization object. Now normally, even you can say, even you can say, it's called as a organization object in in our language. One more definition also there. Okay, 
So if no RJ is nothing but one more ORR, one more, one more definition. It's combination of keys and characteristics. Is a combination. No, no, no. Same, 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 same definition. What is meaning of info object is nothing but is a combination of rows and columns is a phrase actually. But you can be info object is nothing but one more. combination of technical definition key figures. Don't write don't write it. Key figures and characteristics. Key figures and characteristics. Now characteristics. Today's case is the different rows. Normal language, key kind of key says but rows. And characteristics of columns. It's key figures, right? Key figures, same, right? Now key figures are changeable, so every day the, the rows will be changed. But characters are not changeable. It's a constant value. For example, above one table is there. What is the table? Yeah, employee table is there. Employee ID, employee name, employee cell, whatever it's called. It's called as a columns. What are the rows? What are the rows? Above you have one table is there. What is the table is there here? Employee table is there. Employee ID, employee salary is there. What we call that? Employee ID, employee name, employee salary. What we call? Employee number. These are the fields. Uh, these are the columns, no? Columns, columns is called field. This is called columns. Okay, that's okay. This is a constant value, now. When you create the table, it's a constant value. That row values are one. Okay, salary that is two k and two is three and five. What did that do? That value is changed. The aspect is a requirement you can say call as a key figures. It's called as a row. Means either rows are changeable, columns are constant values. Okay, rows are changeable by the rows are changeable values and columns are constant value. Rows are constant. <laughs> rows are changeable. Those are changeable, changeable values and characteristics columns are constant values. It cannot be changed. It's a constant. And last and final is the info provider. Info provider. Sixth one. Sixth one. Putting as a sixth one info provider. Okay, so through info provider will be through info provider will be for the info object is where we loading as an info object. It is called info provider. Through info provider will be loading the loading the data into info object. So these are the building bits of SAP BW security and VSM. These are the so you want to do a practical session one by one. We'll be having another what is what is meaning of info area? So what is meaning of info object info object catalog? Victor also is asking what are the building regulars of SAP BW security? You can say one by one. Again, write down here. Info providers can be divided into two types. Okay, info provider can be can be two types. One is for physical info provider. The second one is the logical info provider. Info provider can be divided into two types. One is for logical. Physical and logical. Physical and logical physical info provider and logical info provider. Okay, what is physical logical providers? Sorry, physical info provider. Why is it logical? 
Are you writing two times? Physical info provider, logical info provider. Correct only, right? Correct only, but a logical is different. Info provider, comma, is the logical provider. Info provider. Okay, right again. Physical info provider consists of. Data in the form of info queue. So, providers consist of data in the format of info queues. Info queues. Data source object, DSO. Data source object. Next one, logical info providers are the multiple providers. Yes, multiple providers. Multiple is logical providers. Okay, consists of multiple, multiple info providers. This is a combination of one or more info providers called as a multiple info providers. But logical. These are the hierarchy of SAP, BW security. And next one here, we have to go for practical session. Before you want to go for practical session, uh, you want to know the user IDs. How many types of users is available in SAP BW? So write down. So SAP BW users can be divided into two types. What is for admin user? And second one is for reporting user. What is the difference between admin user and reporting users? Well, admin user basically those users who can assign the uh, uh, you know gain the password to the users and uh, assign the roles and uh, these all are under the admin the BW and BW BW you can manage the account. Oh, yeah, BW admin and uh, the and the reporting user are those who can down, we can work on the reports and download the reports and create the report. Those are under reporting users. Okay, right on. What is meaning of admin user? Right on. Admin user and reporting user. Admin user is nothing but who will develop the who will develop the queries, info tools, and info areas. Who will develop the who develop, okay, develop the queries info queues info areas info queues and info areas and reporting users it is meaning of report users is nothing but user who will be analyzing the query results users will be analyzing the query results only asking for so how to analyze it? Because there is a fixed analyzer. It is only recording. Fixed analyzer. So the admin is not able to create any user, new yeah, user. That is also creating knowledge of everything will be developed. All of the queries in group will be everything will be done. But recording is nothing but yeah, so analyzing purpose. Basically, if you are in BW, you are creating a new user in BW. Security guy only can be created. But, okay, as an administrator, you can do the user is normal. Uh, but if you come into BW, it's called as a different thing. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. It's a different thing. All of the queries are in BW. So, those are the major things in BW. Okay. So now here, so I think you different. So, how when you go for practical session, is there a how the what is the difference in the okay what is difference is absolutely from the um, how we provide a security as a plan ECC security and BW security and then you rent the point how to provide a security when BW and ECC security what is the difference you are absolutely yes BW BW ECC will yeah first of all you want to create the role and assign that some transition and assign some moderation yes yes 
okay but i want right right, right. So, okay but uh, now but bi security how you can find the bi security first point only you written how to provide a security in bi yeah in bi security how you provide bi security Analysis authorization. So when you go for BW, how are you providing as a BW? Okay, analysis authorization. Okay. Analysis authorization. So how to create a analysis authorization? Right now, the steps. Yes, with BA security, how you follow the how to provide the security BW is the BA security. How to create the analysis and use the transition to RSEC admin. RSEC admin. After that, second one, the first step, first of all, you want to create a user, an operation object from the uh, RSEC admin. Okay, second one, activate the activate the info object. Activate info object in the analysis authorization. What is the authorization object you mean? With this, we can activate them. After that, assign the analysis authorization to the particular user ID. Compulsory question for interview point of view. So, how to provide a BW security? How to provide a BW So, these are the steps you can put the difference between the SA and only three steps. How to provide a security here? First of all, you want to create it as a analysis. Okay. And other analysis. So in knowledge authorization, should be on the info queue. So I want to activate info. So info object. Okay. okay. After that, you can also directly access the particular user without creating any roles also. Okay. Info object you can activate info object. And when you come to BW, how are you providing BW security? How to provide BW security? So for transition, uh, transition option. Yeah, same one. The BI, PSCG, role PSCG, and we can assign the but authorization same object. process as like. What is authorization object? To restrict the BW. What is authorization object we have? What is authorization object? RS, X underscore, RS underscore, com. R yeah, compile, compile one. You can provide a BW signature. So, first of all, I want to know that. R oh, yeah. So, go for RS, R. Not RS, sir. That is the oh. yeah, RS. Uh, no, no. S underscore, RS underscore. Class is same. Class is okay. RS underscore, COMP. Comp and Comp 1. Comp and Comp 1 also there. Comma, I want more authorization object. S underscore. S underscore R and R S underscore S underscore not R and S underscore comp one comp one so these are the authorization object providing media music again okay, go for transition for BMCG do the practical now so you have to do the two details how do you can do okay, go for transition for BMCG I don't edit. So here there is no transition code directly can assign them directly. You can get them manually also. Go for transition PFCG. Okay, directly go for addition object. Add manually object. Add with the restriction. But coming to PW, that nothing is like part of ever work. First of all, you want to go for transition code. As a cut me. Can create them. Our second bin creating as a authorization analysis. Create them. analysis authorization with authorization. Okay. After that, activate them. For a transition for RSG web to activate the authorization for object. In the transition, how to activate? Go for transition for RSD. 
RSD went. RSD went. To activate the info object in your system. And after that, again, you have to come to the RSEC admin. You can assign the authorization to particular user. Assign the authorization to particular user. Authorization to the particular user. Okay, so it is practical one by one. Okay, now log on to SAP system. Yeah, work class is same thing. Maximum work environment can for the BA security same thing. How do we maintain? Even just ask the question for how we can raise the BA security. Use this. You can log on SAP anyway, it's better. Yeah, okay, so okay. She has As simple as you can discuss in a period, we security. The same client uh, is? Yeah, same condition, same condition. Don't do it, the same way. Okay, now go for PFCC transaction go. Okay, create that role. Go for authorization tab. Okay, don't do it. Let's click on manually. Go for technical names, sir. Just click on technical names, sir. Now, here as an administrator, again, BWT is as an administrator, you want to give it a native activity and change activity. For example, you want to go to the end user prospect, like the reporting users, you want to go to the, just click on change the activity. Yes, let's go for that. You have to suppose the administration, you want to give it a create and change activity. When you go for end user prospect, or reporting prospect, you want to give it a only display and exclusion. So just as I want to give a trading as a, not for end user, so let's say end user, like the reporting is a, so you just click the display and execute Click on display, only display and execute. Depending on the administration, just click on okay, execute also because you want to display and execute the reports. Huh? So that's why just click on the execution. Also. 
lessons based requirement is common so based on the based on the situation you can give the business explorer for this and execute for end user or reporting at this stage you can provide the activity providing you can provide it as a paid activity and change the activity okay then click on okay button no create and uh, on what, what what cases administration per and suppose this user id is administration user id in creating as a change and you want to give the activities create and change okay this is a reporting user id is a reporting user id you want to give the only user id and user user id it is a at the time you want to give the only display and execution so no need to give anything okay is that the user id can give the this activity So display. Okay. Suppose. Yeah. Suppose the user is only you know, uh, creation of info. For an example, it's only for the reporting creation of uh, reporting one. Yeah. In so that case, we can only assign the creation. Yeah. Creation. Only display. Next. Okay. Now, so next one, info area. This info area here. So where we actually data will be storing. And so we want to go store the data in the format of some folder. Okay. So just browse it. Don't see here information area. So what is the field name? So you are getting as overall info fields with the rows and columns in the format. Okay. So now here, so in real time, so if it's just sales, or big four department, HR department, you can select anything. Suppose you don't anything, just putting it star. Don't have anyone now. Just go for real time. So based on the requirement, so you want to providing like a sales department or like suppose in a finance department, I want to give us sales. Okay, our MM department. So, the, so you want to give the so info cube. The data will be stored in the format of cube. So in the format, like your objects, na same thing here in info cube. So info here is this. So here again, under that will be giving as a again what a department, what are the values is there. Okay, again you have to putting a star. You don't have anything, just putting a star. And next one is the name of the reporting ID. Is a Pico guy or functional guy? Okay. I like if we go for the Pico report or SAS report or any query, you can put this. You can manually as you can enter it. Reports. What type of report you want? Is name of the report, name or ID of the report. Of, okay. Is it Pico query or based based on the report? Based on the report. So available object nothing is there just click on or opening are they? I will manually type it to you. Cancel is not a BW system. No, you log on PA system to do such. Cancel you can type it manually. No problem. Type it. Type it. Don't put it as star. It's normal. You can put it as F5, F5, R5. And the department manually. What the material management report or big core report? Type it manually. Type it. Big core RMM like that. Big core report. No, what's the name? Uh, can I search it? Uh, searching is not available. Right? So it does make it with a manual link. Uh, manual link. It's not available. No, that you can do the manual link. So give the manual report name. F5. So can I type? Can I? Uh, F5. Type anything. Proper. You can type it manually. You can type it, not browsing. Actually, you can type it. Let's take a save. This is manually. Okay. Now here, use ID. Use ID. You want to get so sorry. Query, query based. So say what type of is it? Query. So what is the report type? Is it query based or table based? Key field value or stick field key field or table stack? So maximum 99 percent you can take it as a query based. Select the third word, query based. Means we want to prepare the report by using as in the format query means in the format rows and columns only. Query, give the query. Hello. Hello. Hello.
Yes, select that. Okay, query report. Okay, click on save button. Voice is not available. Okay, okay, fine. Okay, then click on. So again, sir, I'm not giving the particular user ID now. How to give the user ID? Network virtuations. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, sir, I want to create a new user ID. Right? How to create? Again, you want to add one more authorization object. Here, what is the class is getting here? What the class is getting? What the class name you are getting? Okay, sir, I'm not creating any user ID now, so you can. Okay, I'm not providing. Now, see here what the class is getting. What the class is getting here? The class is RS. So, I already written the difference also. What is the difference between the BW and BI? So, by default, I don't assign it manually. So, what the class is getting? What the class? RS. Class, class, see the class, where the class? Class consists of object. No, no, those are the class, no, the class, those are called as the fields. Above one is then a red color, yeah, business in where information in technical name. Okay, business information warehousing, technical name. Okay, RS. Okay. Now I want to add in as a one more. One more authorization object, just click on manually. No, no, that is the authorization object. Above one, above one, that is the authorization object. Above one is, yes, that is called the class. You written as notepad also. What is the difference between the BW and BI? Okay, BW is consist of the whole yarn. RS is customizing all authorization will be located like. Okay, now you want to go for BI, you can go for overall authorization object will be storing as a RS class only. Now I'm Chris. I want to give the activity. I want to give the info. Yeah, info. Okay, everything is fine. That what? What is that? That is a profile. Okay, and uh, manually entered. So now it's fine. Now, sir, I'm not assigning any user ID. How to assign the user ID? Again, click on manually. Manually, manually. Here only you can assign it. Just click on manually. Add the one more authorization object. Manually inserting the authorization object manually. Okay, S underscore RS underscore COMP one. COMP one. Yes, click on OK button. Now you see here. What is that? Business export company announcement owner. Last option is in a owner. Remaining everything is details is similar. Just is an enhancement, sir. I want to give the particular user ID. So yeah, give the activity. Only yeah. <coughs> above, what are the details? What are the activity? Everything is same here. Okay, click on display and execution button. Mm, execution and display. Okay, then click on save button. Okay. Next one, name of the report, say manually, type it manually and type of request, type it above, above authorization, what is the second, same setting here. <coughs> okay, save button. And request type, yes, query based. Maximum 99%, you can say query only, because you want to arrange the data in the format of rows and columns only. All queries is getting as in the form of rows and columns only. End user also getting as only display like a X and getting at the graph like X Y letter. X is nothing but so on, so Y is like different. Okay, that's a query based maximum. Okay, click on save button. <coughs> save it. Now we assign the user ID. User ID G as user twenty. Just browse it and send any user ID. <coughs> browse it. Browse it. <coughs> okay, so many users is this select anyone user ID? Yes. <coughs> select it. Selection is not, not like this. You don't select it that. Now go back. 
select like that. Okay. Click on that. Click on transfer. Transfer option. Okay. Click on save. Okay. We have click on generate button. <coughs> Okay, so this is a way of you want to creating as a PW security by default. Okay, no need to anything. Now is able to log. Now you want to go for start button. Start button, start button, not this start button. That uh, remote is this remote is the start button. Go for remote. No, no. You are operating the remote desktop. No, remote desktop start button. I want to open the business explorer. Yeah, go for start now. Start, start button, start, window start, window start, yes. Go for all four grams. All four grams, below, below, below. All four grams, yes. Go for business explorer, SAP front end, business explorer is yes. Go for query, analyze, not designer, analyzer. Both are different. Now, GIS user 23 is accessing only on display and execution. Open the Excel sheet. Yeah, this is the analyzer, BA analyzer. He's asking as a username and password. He's not connected actually. Go for add ons. Here, the add installation is there. Just click on that. Just click on connect button. In case it's disconnected, just click on connect. Connect, connect. That icon symbol is then after two symbol after yellow mark was symbol help button will be next button next icon yes that is no in next button next one yes connection just click on connect click on login now <coughs> enter the client number 800 username And password. Actually, in real time, this is trend with the business, but you don't, you don't have BA guys, na. Even you are using a GS system, not BA system. BA salary is different. Once login is done, is able to once is connecting. Okay, now it's connected. Open the Bix Analyzer. Open any fo open folder. No, no, no. Correct, correct. There only. There only. Analyzer is there. No? Hmm. There only analyzer option is there. open folder is there. No? After save button, open the open the any query folder, folder, folder. Yes. Open the query. No system, any query system, just click. Is able to only display and execution, not able to create button. Suppose I he is able to create what error you're getting, you're not able to create the you don't have authorization to create the report, the query. So like that, you're going to get the error. That is your output. Okay, so data is the base, data is not available. Click on OK button. Now, once open the query, you don't have to, you want to display an execution only. You don't have access to, no objects, no apps, it is there. Go for info areas. Info area. Below, 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 yes. Check it, any data is available or not. Means those are storing as a data in the format of so and so folder. You want to take the data as a even is a just as a as end user. In real time, end users only will be have the big analyzer. You don't giving as a technical content and question. Let's take the third one. <coughs> yes. Here, take a second one. Select one. My yes. Okay. Open. 
so what is info area is nothing but it's our overall information info objects will be storing in the format of open that yes <coughs> okay day no data is available scroll down it's loading okay This term that they're loading with so much tough time, maybe. <coughs> Once it's loading, you are able to uh, display an execution. You will be able to create anything. It's again say, you are not authorized to create a query. Again, he's asking, he's saying, give the start time and everything. Just give the data. Available data, data pools. Yeah, select the radio buttons. And you select the radio buttons available attributes start date yeah available drop down list no data click on okay button no problem just click on okay <coughs> okay give the start date and date like when your info provider is created okay but Select the start date and end date. Pick the calendar. Drop down list or else uh, next to icon is there. Uh, select the text icon. Yeah, next icon. Click on that. You don't okay, cancel it, no problem. Click cancel. Okay, now once it's getting the report, the report is able to only display and execution button. You don't need to do anything. So, this is our output from BW, guys. Okay, now I want to providing as a BA security. How are you providing a BA security? Go for transaction code, RSEC admin. Close this, close this, no problem. Okay, how to create this is the way of you want to doing as a normal security from BW system. Now I want to go for do the BA. So go for transition code RSEC admin. Transition code RSEC admin. Yeah, use a slash in slash in a slash row. R sec R sec R sec wrong into the round. Okay, go for maintenance, authorization object maintenance. Maintenance, just click on maintain. Yeah, I want to create a new authorization. Create the any authorization object. No, no, no. Is this the analysis authorization? This is a different authorization from normal. Okay, give the any naming Z underscore something Z underscore test or any new one. You want to creating as a new authorization. Okay, click on create button. <coughs> create button. Enter the shit test is median test, long test, and Yeah, customizing authorization object. We did test also. We did test. <coughs> Close. 
लॉग टेस्ट ओके एंड नेक्स्ट वन इज बिलो नो ऑब्जेक्ट यू कैन ऐड द फील्ड्स जस्ट लिक ऑन इनसाइड द कैरेस्टिक्स वैल्यू नो बिलो द आइकॉन इज देयर ना क्यूब आइकॉन आफ्टर क्रिएट आइकॉन नेक्स्ट वन नेक्स्ट वन यस क्लिक ऑन द आइकॉन यस इनसाइड दिस बाय डिफॉल्ट यू वांट टू गेट इन थ्री डायमेंशंस ओके थ्री स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स आर इंस्ट्रक्टेड ओके now i want to know the three is uh, activation or done or not so first of all what is what is the first step you can do you have three steps what is the first step i want to go for transition could or set admin i want to creating as one authorization object i want to inserting as some fields is okay now i want to know this authorization like uh, this info objects are active or not how we know this objects are active or not just copy this uh, any one characteristic value or dimension value Info object actually. Copy any one, any one. Okay, I want to know that is activated or not. Okay, then go for transition code R S D one. Use the transition code slash wo slash wo. Yeah, wo wo. We can use R wo. Okay, R S D one. Okay. Now enter that object name. It's not open. Yeah, enter the object name. Then just click on object name. Click on maintain. What is meaning of characteristic here? Okay, click on maintain symbol. Maintain. Yes. Okay, click on okay. Is a warning only. No problem. Click on okay button. Okay, now go for big analyzer. His state is active only. Business explorer, business explorer. No, no, no. General tab, but tabs is there, na? Business explorer tab. Business explorer tab. B E B E. Below, next to next step. Yes, the tab. Here. This is a so below our checkboard is it? This is the authorization relevant means is activated successfully. For example, any info cube that our checkbox is there, na authorization relevant is uncheck it. Just click on uncheck it. Uncheck that. Uncheck below 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 below. You are putting a mouse pointer, na? Yeah, uncheck it. Then click on save and activate. Now, what is status is there is not activated, not saved also. Save and activate symbol also. And click on activate, activate, activate button, activate ID icon. Yes. It's not a. This not this. This info cube is not a authorization. Okay, all apps are selected. Now, okay, then go for now. Say so again, save it once. It's activated you now. Again, okay, save it. Just click on save. Save button. Yeah. Okay. Now uh, you want to go for the R C cut bin now. That's our transition code. Previously open. I open the transition code.
that is next to already you are opening one transition code as a admin go for the transition code yes okay now uh, remove now click on active now save it now you are getting as one error now just click on save button just save it what is the error you getting yeah the character kind of what is the meaning of character here column the column is not a authorization relevant even actually you have to enter the call center even uh, just click on add button again you had add one more one more or just click on add button below below add button just click on add add the one more field yes feed add button that is the insertion button is uh, add button add button after create button left, left side will be having mm -hmm. next type uh, next next type uh, create create uh, this add button is yes, just click on add now add one more column name like any call center any company code just browse it browse it putting as a zero and browse it zero star now here see what happened so you want company code you want uh, profit center call center okay you want to like here only you can directly here only you can restrict it you don't go for directly like a authorization object directly you can here only you can restrict it here you want to display the authorization event or not here only you can display it okay select any one info object <coughs> like you want to go for controlling okay country okay fine click on add the control okay now what happened now just click on enter save button now Suppose this is also not uh, not like RX so you can get it as a what happened? No dimensions. You want to get the dimensions, so just double click on that. Means you want to insert the value countries. Sir, so how to insert the value? Just go for interval is there, no? Yeah, yeah. Interval, interval, interval. Intervals. Yeah, just click on double. No input help help available. The option is then a uh, cross symbol is then a uh, info cube after next op what rest option is then uh, a right, double click on that uh, field double click, double click on it this not taking yeah that uh, next icon no no other uh, green color icon Greek and like uh, that is the adding button next side next one cube is then uh, after cube after cube interval green color cross symbol is then uh, yes Yes, yes. So he's not activation, so you want to give the interval like uh, you want to give the specific interval. Means you want to give the you know, some values like what are you even selecting as a country you know? It's in this way. Uh, next is summation icon. That icon is there you know, some uh, try it yellow icon, yellow icon. Hmm. The normal one inside the key figure. We don't have authorization to our active. We don't have authorization. Okay, close it, close it, close it. Close it. Try it and insert authorization or insert value. Try it first. Uh, first one you're searching. First one. No? Yeah. So first one. Create button. Just click on create button. Create. No, no, no. Create, create, create. Yeah. You have to create one more row. You don't have to again. Is inserting is not there here. Actually, you want to insert the values there. Like you want to get the country. You select the country now. Those countries only display. Remaining is not display anything here. You want range is available. Even company code also. Yeah. Even is not there. Change and display info. Values is not there. Either. No input allowables. Okay, select that row and insert that icon. Insert icon is there, no? insert authorizations. In green color, yellow symbol, one symbol is there. No? After create button, we'll be having one bug button. Just click on that. Harish, after create button, give me two minutes. Okay, okay, okay.
What will happen? You know, authorization relevant value that is okay. Fair. Then select that option. Can select the, uh, the create after creating it. After create button, we'll be having as one icon uh, that icon. Yes, click on that. Insert the special character. This was assuming only special. Try it. That is also. Just click on that and click on that. Okay. Okay, okay, fine. So now what happened? So you want to get actually you want to give this some input values for the particular interval. Like uh, when you go for as creating as a BW or he says a security, what we do, you want to give the organization value, company code, how you can setting as a manually. In interval, you can give the that values manually. How you can give the minimum? We'll check once, we'll check once. Okay, now what happened? Characteristic is not a authorization relevant. So, how it is making authorization relevant is nothing but again go for RSD1. Like, suppose you want to getting as any error, so how to troubleshoot is nothing but go for transition code RSD1. RSD1. The characteristic is not a so RSD1 already open now. Yeah, then just click on a make is it the checkbox is it now click on authorization relevant. By default is getting for example anything is missing then take on again activate and save it Activate first of all activate and after this save it Okay, now you can check it now click on save button now
okay that is the correct issue because of there is no address is found the dimension and characteristic so you should be an at least one of it click on okay button you want to give the company code or you want to give the country names then only you can give. how you can give the entry list check the format okay just select that characteristic company code even double click actually getting double click or uh, check the format select the company code harish and click on details i can check in details as at least select the company code and click on details detail detail last icon is in last one detail yes just click on that now click on change button is in display mode now is getting click on add button add button value authorization add your display mode already so again click on change button hmm. now click on add button yeah here just browse it operations can be divided to three types here like a particular bit of bit between operator character value more than value particular range now okay, equal values is nothing but same value between the range you want to get so and so range cp is nothing but marked as input pattern so select the equal value eq this is operator in between operator equal to operator plus operator minus operator like here coming to here three operators is there just select the operator what type of value you can select okay button just click on okay button okay now give the interval range from one range so 1000 to this is what is that this is a company code na yeah and then manually manually you are wish you can give the any particular range so 1000 to 2000 in between you want to give the any so this authorization observer will be activated this is not anything close it now you want entering manually Mm, give the range 1000 to 2000. Like you have to give the organization value, na in a security same 2000. No, no, not here. From value that is a two value next column. Yes. Okay. So now click on save button. So these are input value means we want to restrict to only is able to accessing as a 1000 to 2000 only. After doing anything, is not getting is getting even not authorized like that. Just click on save. Yeah, click on OK button. OK, fine. Then go back. Authorized not save. No issues. No issues. Go for a hierarchy. That's no problem. Let's go back. OK, now is go for country code also. Country code. You can go the country also. Same thing. Interval. Suppose see that interval. How the interval is looking like? The cross symbol is there. It's nothing but particular interval. Between is different. Different. Again, select that and click on details. Now, what type of country is accessing? Again, suppose you want again. Suppose you want selecting as a between operator in between range value. Select okay equal to okay. Browse the countries. So you can give the country codes between okay. Okay, between operator select no project. So by default, country is there. Country codes. Browse it, Harish. Browse it. Browse it. Only three. Uh, German is there. French is there. And first one is there is uh, side of US and English is not there. Okay, select the particular interval. Okay. F R to D E to U S putting as a D E to U S. Double click on it. Select the interval. Yes, 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 yes. After this, now like no issues. But okay, then click on Save button. Okay, already the German is there. Already saved. Okay, then go back. Suppose you want to get the full authorization, just click on full author. Now it like okay. Now I want to creating as a analysis authorization. Then I want to assign to the my user ID. How to assign the user ID? Then go back. Now I want to create analysis here only. Everything restrictions can be do here only. Dimensions you can add the fields and field values. What is the meaning characteristics? 
characters nante mene columns because you can restrict the columns here only particular range okay then go back now i want directly assign to the you have two methods is there one is uh, you have to go for transition code different now rs here only you can be assigning directly directly assign it indirectly so i want to do the direct assignment just go back yeah now go for user user tab and just click on assignment now enter the user id any one user id okay now click on user maintenance or change just click on change button change button change button change button okay now assign the authorization object what authorization we are creating browse it check star now what is the authorization of the request? Just start. Okay, JNS code test. Already is getting it. JNS code test. Yes. Now click on insert. Okay, now is test successfully. Okay, now see a role based also how many roles. Okay, then click on save. So this is the way of you want to providing as a directly to the even you can get the role based also. Okay, so click on this is the way of you want to providing the BA security. Means assigning as analysis authorization after the activation after that you can go the assignment particular user ID. Okay, then go back. <laughs> go back. How I can restrict it? Here uh, previously there now previously uh, when you creating as a column there only can restrict it. You not you not do anything. They are only assigning. The restriction is do the value on the uh, when you creating as an analysis you can select the fields and field values on the basis of activity uh, administration activity both will be there here only both the changes will be done here only there is no separation is by default yeah after, oh no no this is a field and uh, values field and value there is no activity only display mode or you don't have display mode you don't have the directly can just normal level normal option Suppose you want to go for role maintenance, same method. Go for just go back. I want to assign this authorization object to particular role, not user ID. A norm, no, no, no. Just click on role maintenance. Role maintenance. Role no, here, here, here. Role maintenance here. Just click on role maintenance. Yes. Now click on the create a new role. Create a role. Already exists in your change. Okay. Okay, directly go for operation tab. Okay, now we add this add already manually this authorization object. What we are assigning? JNS code test is there, directly can assign it. Go for change the authorization data. Don't select any template. Go for manually, just type it JDN score test. Click on OK button. It's not existed. Just browse it once. <laughs> Only 500 is in, remove the 500. Remove the 500. You have 500 interest only there. It's not getting normal mint. Remove the 500. Above one, arrow mark is there, na? arrow mark. In between arrow mark is there, na? restrictions. No, no, arrow mark. Below is just showing an arrow mark. More than 5,000 values I want. Arrow mark, arrow mark, Arish. Hmm. Yeah, remove the 500. 
now type it okay but no 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 need just uh, remove everything just click on okay button now you can search 3200 now you can search it no 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 search it no issues oh total 3200 only is available Once I check it, wait, wait. Uh, once go for transition code RS7 or RSSM, sorry, RSSM, RSSM. Actually, by default, you're getting, then you can add restriction, you can do here only. It's a new version, okay, click on okay. And select the authorization object. Authorization object, just click on the Z underscore test. Click on change the button, display, just click on display. Click on create button. Description, give the description. Okay. Okay, add the fields. What are the fields you want? Here, yeah, I said you have the fields is there, no? Hmm. Add it one by one. What are the fields is there? This is the another method. Actually, this is the BW security. Sorry, this is a BW security. You can do this again manually. Click on save button. Hmm. Select anything, info product, click on save. <laughs> Okay, the asking access key. You don't have access key. Okay, no. Once it's great, no problem. Click, click on so save, save, click cancel. You don't have access key. Click on. Click on save now. Okay, already saved. Okay, then go back. Save and go back. Save and go back. Now click on create button once it's created done or not. Okay button. Okay, save button. Just click on save. I don't want fill. Just I want to click on save. again. Is asking access. I will check that. Okay, once I check it. This is the again means uh, suppose you not get anything. Again, you want to come to add the fields. Okay, what the field? Again, you want to go for row. Okay, just click on cancel. Just go back once. Same, what are the fields is there in a same thing here? Below is there now, what is here? Just check it. Reporting RSR. What is RSR? Is a class. RS is nothing but one more class. Below is there now, authorizations. Okay, authorization logs. Yes, RSR, RSS. Okay, this is the logs of the so both the user IDs. Okay, so RSR is for the BW and RS is for the BA securities. Okay, now it is go for only purely on BW security. This is the RSSM. Already you read the difference also. One second that. Okay, RSA admin is for <coughs> that is the BA security purpose. Even when you just click on enter button, you can getting this transition code is not nobody using this transition code. All are using the RSA admin only. Okay, once it's created, then after that you want to go for role and you can assign there. Okay. And go for once, go for RSEC admin. How you tracing as how to do the tracing? Tracing RSEC admin. Even how we transporting? No, no, no. That is SU53 and SU50, SU stage 11 is tracing. But I want to tracing as a BW. BIBW, how to do this? There is a transition code is RSEC admin only. Don't say an interview like this. If the transition code is RSEC admin only. Yes, once go for RSEC admin. How you tracing the details? Okay. For SU53, SU01, SUIM, now coming to BA, you can go for RSEC admin. 
already open just go for that rcp admin next to tab just now you can see the authentication object and user yeah interview question only that is what are transaction code to tracing as a ba security so ba users you can use the transaction code rcp admin okay let's go for the how we trace it where we trace it okay go for analysis yes now here go for execution as authorization values execute as yes so what type of transaction is executed now see here just click on start the transaction code yeah is again here what type of now he is getting as a report what type of report is executing okay select the you don't have any auto invalid actually you can select the here what type of report and help and everything so select the any one query BA guys, you can query now. Select the query and just click on execution button. It will display the overall tracing details. Queries. This is BA actually is not us. BA guys, okay. Even info. See here, history, info areas, roles and favorite and everything. Go for info areas. Means overall where we store the overall data. Now. So here, just click on anyone. So I want to know who are create this. Just click on double click on okay. Select it. Okay. It's not okay. If I expand that, I have okay. Expand that info area. Mm. BA tracing tool. Expand that. Testing results. Anything? Yes. Okay. Select. Double click on it. Again, it's expanding. Okay. Double click on anything. Okay button. And click on execution button. Now it will display the overall query results. Like you get the written code zero, written code like you can get it. The red color is nothing but successfully done. Yellow is nothing but partially. So means some warning. Green color is nothing but successfully. So like that you getting as the overall messages one by one. Okay, no, no data is there. So you see, actually, you go to getting like red color, yellow color. So like you get getting one by one, but you don't getting any value. So it is getting as who are access. Actually, this is not what type of report who are executed, who are changed. Okay, so everything will be displayed like uh, tracing details. Now see here messages. No application data is not found. Means nothing is there here. Okay, again go back. This is a tracing. The tracing value you can get the tracing values. Okay, then go back. I think we're not tracing. Okay, again go back. Now see the executed user. Uh, next one, authorization log and general log is common for everyone. Okay, authorization log and general logs. Yes, again, particular types of just click on configure the log recording. No, no, just can log, just click on configure the log recording. Means add the user, which user you want to do the logs. Just click on add the user. Logs means whatever, just add the user. GRC 23. So this guy doing anything, any uh, any authorization, anything that will be recording automatically. Okay, then click on save button. Okay, now check the address was using logs. Okay, any logs is it will display. Then go back. Again, you want to go for next one. 
We see a David story case in the form of database or archiving. Below is an execution restricted one and time star archiving, removing. How database? Naturally, maximum taking database only, not for archiving. Okay, then go back. Next one, general generation logs. No, no, nothing is fun. Again, once go for authorization tab here. How we transporting as a BA authorization object? Just go for authorization object. Go for authorization tab. Authorization tab, there only. Authorization tab. How you transportation? So you're transporting a role, you're transporting user, you're some same here, truck button is there, no? that is a transportation. Here generation, there is no relation. Yes, now see here again, who are, what type of request, so select that one. Again, click on the truck button. Create a request, create a request. Okay, click on no no okay click on transport okay click on select anyone select anyone request testing is there no what is the request 271 is a testing that is 245 which is yours okay anyone request okay click on okay button okay now transport is done again where we release go for sg01 as you can go so this is the ASIC administration. SC09 because of work was request. So you can release them, then automatically the transportation is going on. Just click on display. Work punch request and just click on only work punch request, not customizing. Selected who is it 271. 271 you can release them again. Child expand that, expand that that object is exhibit or not. Now see here authorization object. What type of authorization object? Expand it, expand it again. First one only you can expand it. First one customer assignment after transition that is your customer. Yes, CD1. No, no, no. Customization Irish. This is correct only. I think somebody using the same request, maybe. Okay, select it and release it. No, no, select the 72 and release the truck button. Child and no once again truck button. Yeah, again transport button. Click on that, yes. Again 71. 71 so 2 you can compulsory can release now you reason to sub child only you can do the parent also parent 71 271 select the request and again export now you get the status so successfully exported okay this is our way of error sap or sec admin Okay, and one more last and that is the only one thing that will be discussed tomorrow. Okay. I will share that the PPT and this documentation. One second. Okay. Okay, tomorrow okay. I go to offer the messenger. How is it? Huh? What part? You got any offer and offer from messenger. How is it? Is it security wise or salary wise? Salary wise is number one. This is next topic. Salary wise is number one, but work is also is a little bit high. Yeah, salary is very nice. So I said that salary, but remaining all companies, highest salary is given by the only essential company. 